Well, you know those songs, the ones that you hear in the morning and you can't get out of your head for the entire day. We've been playing an awful lot of those songs this morning. There is a reason why some songs become catchy and others do not. Nanotech scientist and new member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Michelle Dickinson, is here to explain why. I don't know that I'll say that every time I introduce you, Michelle. No, good you morning. Just but we'll congratulations. Bow every time instead. No, yes, okay. yes. Do you like the carpet that we laid out this Thank morning? You. Oh, yeah, we'd like to do our bit. Um, so, congratulations for that. All right, so there's been a lot of talk about why some songs are, are catchy and, and some are not. But now as a result of a study, is it true to say we know absolutely why some songs will become very catchy? No, but scientists are getting closer to what we call an, an earworm theory. So the earworm is where that thing goes on in your head continually mm. and you can't get rid of it. You can't finish it. It annoys you. 92% of us do this at least once a week. So most of us have it going on in our head. And scientists have found that it's it's to do with having a very simple song and that it repeats itself a lot without much pitch change. So only a few notes and those notes are of long duration. That's as far as the science has got. What we don't know is what seems to instill it. So music is very instilled by many memories. So your memories of your life are very mm. different to other people's. And so certain words, such as if you're washing the car, you might start singing car wash. Um, so the association seems to start this trigger. It's a really incredibly hard experiment to do because you can't control when it starts right, in your head. Right. So I can't run you to the lab and be like, put an MRI machine on so I can scan your brain. But they've tried to do some experiments and there's this auditory cortex in your brain that seems to be stimulated, but they're not really sure how to stop okay. it. Although women are more prone to it than men, you're more prone if you're OCD in nature and you're more prone if you're a musician. Now, musicians and composers in particular will tell you that to them, they're always looking for the hook yeah. in a song. How important are the hooks? So they're those little lines that are repeated every now and then. Yeah, so this the research comes from a citizen science project in, in the UK and Amsterdam, where they played this game called Hooked on Music. Mm. Now, if you play it, I swear you will be addicted to it. It's great. So this is like the res this is how they found this is out. This the research, yeah. and you can still play it. Go to hookedonmusic.org.uk. Basically, they start a song. When you think you recognise it, you press stop. You then have to sing out loud the rest of the song, and then they start it up, and you see whether you got it right or not. Um, number one, it makes jingles stick on your head. Number two, you start to learn whether you remember the beginning of the song or the melody, whether you remember the words or just the tune. And so this is part of a really big research project. Okay. And so people can go on and do that now. And as a result of doing this with enough people, yeah. they have come up with the 20 catchiest songs of all time. Yes, yeah, so out of 276 of the most popular songs over seven decades, this is what they found. All right, and this is the catchiest song of all time. Yo, tell me what I want, what I really, really want. Don't tell me what you want. Thank you, Phil. Really, really um, really Spice want. Girls, who would have thought at number one wannabe, the Spice Girls? So what they found is actually it wasn't the melody of the Spice Girls, it was that introduction, that first line that nails you in. They just... That everybody in. recognized straight away and then because it was so overplayed one of the things about um, music memory is that if you have something that's overplayed so the radio keeps playing it's in shops all the time it sticks in your memory deeper so Spice Girls were highly overplayed in the 90s yeah. and the 2000s it's a very catchy song it's got an interesting opening line that's very simple and people remember and so Spice Girls yeah. and the interesting thing when you talk about that competition that they used to establish this is I reckon almost everybody certainly everybody around this table you play the first bar of that yeah. and you can yeah. Go straight into the lyrics. You know. And so this is really important because there is research behind this, not just for understanding how to sell music better, but for Alzheimer's patients, because we know that music mm. is locked into memory. And many patients who have Alzheimer's start to get very stressed and um, suffer a lot of trauma because they don't know where they are and they forget memories. If you play certain music to them that instills a pleasant, pleasant memory, it has calmed down patients. So trying to understand the science is really good for, Fantastic, for memory diseases. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Um, for coming in this morning, uh, for making time for us. Do you get a um, like a chauffeur driven limousine now? No. No. Okay. All right. No, no not yet. Okay, Michelle. Michelle Dickinson, <laughs> nanotech scientist. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a great day.